morning welcome again to morning coffee scripture and um, the Bible copy I'm going to use today is uh, Numbers chapter 2 verse 34 number chapter 2 verse 34 and you read justly so the Israelites did everything the Lord commanded Moses that is the way they encamped under their standards and that is the way they set out each with his clan and family. The topic today will be the Israelites encamped under their standards. This must have been one of the biggest campsites the world has ever seen. It would have taken about 12 square miles to set up tents for just the 600,000 fighting men. Not to mention the woman, the women and children. Moses must have had a difficult time managing such a group. In the early stage of the journey and at mighty Sinai, the people were generously, generally obedient to both God and Moses. But when the people left mighty Sinai and traveled across the rugged desert, they began to complain, grumble and disobey. Soon problems erupt and Moses could no longer effectively manage the Israelites. The book of Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers present a striking contrast between how much we can accomplish when we obey God. I'm going to rewind myself. The books of Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers present the striking contrast between how how much you child of god you my brothers and my sisters how much we can accomplish when we obey god and how little how very little we can accomplish when we don't and you can see leviticus 10 1 2 for the story of neva and abu so we need to understand that this is the right time for these Bible verses. Follow me through. And some things that I had from you will not be had anymore. Because guess what? What would God is majority? God is only answer, my brothers and my sisters. The only way, the only way, the life, the truth, the only, the only one you can depend on. Good time, bad time, you will never regret. Prayer. Oh God, my Father, thank you for giving me the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I long for a growing holiness, O oh God, in my character, rightness in my living, and peacefulness in my countenance. Please give me the grace to stand firm, O oh God, during the time of any type of your discipline, during this time of pandemic, during this time of lockdown, during this time of things are not going the way planned and the way everyone is planned god give us please i beg you in the name of jesus christ your son who have died for us died for our sin please oh god give us the grace to stand firm not to fall to the left or right but to stand firm during this time your type of discipline in jesus christ in matchless name amen god bless you all Jesus loves and Amen. I appreciate you watching. And remember, we are not just telling stories, but we are changing lives. And when you share my videos, you are helping to change lives too. So start a watch party on Facebook. And because the support you all show helps to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Also, subscribe and like to the YouTube link above. And follow us on Facebook.com slash Divine Church of Christ, Twitter.com slash Divine underscore SOC, and Instagram.com slash Divine Church of Christ. And check out our new website on the link below. Thank you.